Hello friend and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, we are going to see how to optimize model for reporting in Power BI Desktop. So once you have already imported the data, it is not necessary that the, in, the piece of information that you get in that particular data set is useful, useful for our visualization. For an example, that we have a data set of a customer in which I have their information. Along with that, I also have their date of birth. Now, uh, to be honest, at the time of visualization of the report, it's not necessary to have such kind of information with us. So what we can do about it, we can simply hide that particular column. So this is used for uh, optimizing the models in such a way that we can specifically hide a piece of information which is not needed. That does not uh, imply that we have already deleted it. No, it will be just hidden in such a way that at the time of uh, creating or generating any kind of report these uh, feature will not be included all right so we can simply hide them the second thing that we can do is sort the data that we have now whenever I go under the modeling tab we have an option which allows me to sort by column so let's take for an example that you have a data set which is not in a proper order that you intend to so we can use this sort button which will help me to sort data according to my own need so how to optimize this models and how to work upon it we will be having a better understanding of it in our practical approach hello friends and welcome in this video we are going to learn how to optimize models for report generation in power bi all right so let's go ahead and see how it is done in power bi okay for the same reason i will move on the extreme right hand side of my screen under the fields pane you can see the tables that we have imported using our access database I will simply go under this date table and under this date table you can see there are so many columns out here all right so what I'll do here is I'll simply click take this month and drag it onto the rep uh, on this particular report pane okay I will take this month as well and drag it here I will take the month name as well and I'll take the month number okay so when I drag all this information it is giving me a tabular format of all the database and it is apparently showing me the same thing that is the month all right but in order to get the relevant information what we can do out here is we can hide the unnecessary columns which will be not requiring at the time of report generation and how I do that first let me go ahead and uncheck all this all right what the columns which won't we won't be requiring we can simply hide it and in order to hide it uh, we have to go onto onto that column and when you go onto that column you can see there are three dots which says more option you simply have to click on it and simply click on hide so the moment you click on hide it is hidden i do not want even month id i will simply click on hide and get it vanished all right in order to get it back you simply have to click on the three dots and you can simply click on unhide all as well all right so this is how it is done it's done very simply so what we will do out here I will take this month name and drag it here on my screen so I can get all the month name and also I will go under the sales fact and get their revenue respective revenue so this is giving me an idea that in in the month of April what what is the revenue out here okay so this is in a tabular format let's get it in a column chart okay in this column chart I can get a better understanding about the figures and what are the different uh, months associated with it now as you can see along with uh, in this particular report uh, the month name in this particular report the month name is not aligned properly as you can see it is written in haphazard manner what I would like to see is it should start from Jan and end on December so in order to do this I need to sort this particular month column and how I do that it's quite simple again I simply have to select this month column right and I'll go under the modeling tab and under the modeling tab I have something called as sort column by if I click on this drop down menu I will get a bunch of options all right and in this option I will say that get this month sorted by the month uh, month number that is like from 1 to 12 that is from January to December the moment I click on this you can see on the on my report now my report or my chart this particular chart has been uh, optimized in such a way that it start starts with Jan and ends on 
December. All right, guys. So this is you, how you can optimize report for better results. Also, if you can see, we have created this uh, date two format in our basic transformation, as we have seen in our previous video. Under the basic transformation, we have created all these columns. We have also created this date two column. Now, if I simply select this and drag it on the report chart, you can see it will show you all the dates. Just give it a moment. All right, so as you can see, uh, this particular report has been generated. Now, this is this particular in a certain format. And now if I want to change the format out here, I, you simply have to click on the sort. And if I, if I want a different format, as you can see, under the modeling tab, I have to change the format of it. You can simply click on this drop down menu, go on the date and time, and you can select whatever format you feel like. Let's uh, go ahead by, let's take it. Alright, this looks a nice version where I have the year, the month and the dates. If I simply click on it, you can see the format has been changed accordingly and I can get my results accordingly, the format which I can set. Alright, so this is very simple. If I want to change the format, you simply have to select that particular column and go on sort column and change the format the way you want it. Alright, under sort column, you can sort it on ascend uh, in the ascending or descending manner or you want it in from month that is Jan to December, you can sort it along with it. Or if you want to change the format, you simply have to go under this format drop down menu, select date and time and select the format which you opt you which will be opting for for your report generation all right guys so this was all about this video in which we learned how to optimize our models to create proper reports in power bi all right hopefully you guys like this video see you until next time